Hey, it's Dr. Hendricks from Faithful Friends Veterinary Clinic. I uh, just want to take a second to introduce our newest doctor, Dr. Haver. Uh, we added him uh, 1st of May of this year just because we were getting so busy. We've had so much growth in the past six years. Uh, that we added Dr. Hoffman about three years ago. She's great. You all know her. I'm sure you all love her. We love her here. Uh, we got into the springtime. It's getting so busy that we needed to increase our capacity for care. And I knew Hoffman uh, was such a great addition. And then just knowing Haver, uh, just from our time, for the past eight years we've known each other, uh, decided to bring him on board just to continue the type of medicine that we practice as far as really caring uh, for our patients and taking the best medicine for them and also communicating it to our clients in a way that they understand why we make the recommendations we do and then also understanding what we're doing in the background to kind of make sure their pet is best cared for as they can. So uh, this is Dr. Haver. Hi, um, nice to join this uh, awesome team, Faithful mm -hmm. Friends. Yeah. It's been really, really good. Uh, smooth transition, natural, um, you know, great support staff, great doctors, uh, great clients and patients, and, and really, um, I couldn't ask for a smoother, you know, smoother transition. Certainly always at the beginning, a little bit challenging to get mm -hmm. used to the flow and uh, new software and stuff, but uh, <laughs> everything's been great, and I yeah. look forward to continue to take care of Dublin's patients and you know the surrounding areas yeah I think it's something too where we talked like we're going to have to kind of when we're adding on a third doctor right or like a two two and a half doctor practice at that time we knew there was going to be openings uh, but the great aspect of that is that we do have openings where Absolutely. we have a really great team right you fit in so well with me and Hoffman like I don't think we get three better doctors to work together than we have right now I agree. And I hope in the future we'll find a fourth yeah but it's something to where the way you practice and having that availability allows us to just expand that book to what we can provide, not only to our patients, right? As far as when our patients get sick and they call, we can see them, they can come in, we can take care of their issues that day. And if for some reason the client can't come in that day, we give them the next day or whatever works best yeah. for them. Uh, but then also we found a lot of surrounding clients from the area that have pets that maybe they're, uh, they call their vet. And the vet says, oh, I probably can't get you until like next week, maybe go to urgent care. And they have to wait till that night to go to urgent care to where if they end up calling us, uh, it's something to where we're like, yeah, we can get you in that day, we can take care of that, we can run those diagnostics. You know, we always try to discuss with the client, kind of going through a great physical exam, right, like we always do, and then making those recommendations on diagnostics, and then trying to get to the root of the problem so we get that pet as best we can pretty yeah. quickly. I know when we were talking early on, one of the most exciting things about coming over was the ability to add ultrasound, you know, as far as building that skill through training, right? And then be able to provide that, you know, for our patients. I know for a long time you've wanted to add that, you know, to your medical game. Absolutely. But it's going to be a fantastic addition to, you know, the diagnostics that we have available. Mm -hmm. um, you know, ultrasound can show so much more than x-ray. We have digital x-ray, um, you know, really good quality x-ray mm -hmm. images. But it's just a whole different sort of category of information. Yeah, the three dimensions you can see. Yeah. And like once you get to the point where you start poking stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So you start talking about like non-invasive, like where you can get a little sample of that lymph node Absolutely. or a little bit of that growth of having to anesthetize the patient or go in and do it surgically. I know Hoffman's excited about that too as far as everybody's yeah. developing that skill and hopefully in the next couple of months they'll be offering that, which is going to be great. Yeah. That's going to be a really good addition um, moving forward, and I can't wait to have it offered for the clients. Yeah, I think one of the great things was too, like when you first came in, it's like I know you like Derm a lot. Yeah, is when you had like some different recommendations on some medications or some products that we could carry that would make it easier for the client to take care of the patient. Sure. Uh, but also maybe help with those Derm cases, you know, a little bit more than what we had on staff. Yeah, dogs and allergies is super <laughs> common, mm -hmm. numerous times a day, and so. You know, luckily I like dermatology and I like mm -hmm. allergy cases. I'm thrilled to be able to have, you know, a, a section of medicine that's, you know, so has so much need associated with it and have uh, a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of information to, to provide for the, the patients and, the, and their, um, you know, owners, their yeah. the clients. It has to be very frustrating as far as allergies because it's not treatment, right? You don't right. cure it. You treat it, right? It's not a cure. And so it can be lifelong, you know, yeah. as far as that treatment. and. Just the initial conversations we have with the client, kind of setting them up, right? Because you don't want to set up for something where it's like, oh, we'll give this pill for 14 days. You yeah. know, it can take a little bit longer on that aspect. And I think, you know, back to what you said about just the continuity of care, I think it's something between, you know, Dr. Hoffman, myself, and you, like that baseline of what they expect when they come in for just your general sort of preventive stuff, vaccines, flea tick, heartworm, uh, blood work. It's all like right there. Like we yeah. all practice the same way, which is so important in multi-doctor practice. Not only for us working together, 
uh, but also for client experience. They come in, they kind of know what to expect. It's not like, oh, that doctor mentioned something else last time. It's like we're all talking about the same thing. But when you get deeper into certain cases, um, you having an interest in Durham, like me doing more of the procedural type stuff, it's nice to have people to bounce ideas off of and come sure. together like multiple times, like me, you, and Hoffman get together, talk about cases, come up with maybe some ideas that we weren't thinking about that one of the doctor, other doctors kind of had. So that's definitely one of the main benefits of having a multi-doctor practice, especially with you guys. I mean, you and Hoffman, I mean, it feels so blessed to have you guys. It's worked out so well. It's been seamless. It's been yeah. an awesome transition. Mm -hmm. I look forward to, to helping everybody out. Yeah.